Hi all! A quick video on expanded word and standard forms. Um, let's get to it. Alright, so expanded form means you're expanding a number. Standard form is the normal way that we would write numbers. And word form, word form is a number used uh, we, where we use words to write it. So if I had a number, <clears throat> um, let's say I have seven. I would write seven in word form as seven, okay? If I had 76 in word form, I would write it out using words as 76. If I had 132, I would write it using words. 132. That's word form. Okay. If I have standard form, standard form, say I have the number 489. 489. That's the standard way to write a number. So standard form is just the way we write our numbers normally. So if I have the number 38, 38. That's all it is. You're just writing it in the standard form, the standard way we do things. All right. <clears throat> Let's say expanded form. So for expand, expanded form, I want to look over here at my place value chart. I have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, all the way up to millions. So a single digit, so zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine can fit in to one column. When I go over nine, I have to bundle into new groups. So after nine ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I wind up with one group of 10. If I count all the way up to 20, that's two groups of 10. If I count to 30, that's three groups of 10, right? So I can have digits zero through nine in each of these columns. I can't have two digits in one column because once you have that, you're bundling into a new group, okay? So if I have the number, 78, and I want to expand that number. I know 78 in the number itself says what it is. It's a 70 and an 8. 78, 78. That's how I expand that. If I have four groups of 100, so I have 100, 200, 300, and 400, four groups of 100, I have seven groups of 10, and I just have eight ones. That's the number 478. Guess what? It says it in the number. It's 478. All I'm doing is adding a plus sign in between. That's expanding the number. That's expanded form. If I have 1,478, it says it. 1,478. All I'm doing is I'm taking that number and I'm expanding it, right? That's it. That's expanded form in a nutshell. All right. I hope that made sense and I hope that you're doing great with your math. Bye.